let's continue our AI graphics tool session. As we explore more and more tools, obviously you will have more options. Uh, we have been looking at uh, more tools as we're moving along from Adobe Express to Canva uh, to we had designs.ai. Just go with it. You might like look and feel for one or two. Uh, you might go deeper on one. You might use the other one just for quick one. I'm using more and more of Adobe Firefly and Adobe Firefox recently. Um, I do like the sound of it and also easy way of using it. But if you're used to Adobe Firefly and Adobe Express, then let me introduce you to Microsoft Designer. Yes, Microsoft has its own design AI tool, very, very similar to Adobe Firefly. Glitch is you can't log in through uh, Gmail or any personal mail. Uh, you need to have an Outlook or uh, a Microsoft related uh, uh, login. The ones you, you know, this is the thing, you go back and ch check Microsoft Designer, you're gonna have this screen. And as you can see here, oh, it simply says, hey, write a prompt. And unlike, uh, um, unlike Adobe Firefly, which has different components of it, it simply says, hey, you know what, write a text and we'll go from there. So um, we are gonna look at the tool directly, but I just thought as always, you know, my, my, our creative brains just go um, slow. So I always use our AI tools ChatGPT, Claude Abad, um, to just ask, hey, um, just give me a creative prompt uh, to ask uh, Generative AI to create some messages. So you can go back, first log in, and uh, you're going to see two things. Number one is put a prompt in uh, to get an image. So this is where uh, you know it, it automatically gives you some templates and stuff, which you can have a look next. But for now, I've just asked an enormous crimson dragon with a shimmering star fry eyes soaring through purple and orange cosmic nebula. So look at the image that's been created. This actually is powered by Dali E. Dali E. So I'm sure if I had the same image in Mid Journey or Adobe Firefly, I would have got slightly better opportunity. But the, but the only closest thing that I got that out of dragon is image number two. <laughs> but otherwise, it has produced something. But the good news is, it has come out with some text as well, right? Can you see it has come with text? But since I added the prompt to myself, one of the best thing that this tool advises you is, hey, it's it has now given a specific prompt, um, which suits Dali better or the Microsoft designer better. It is, hey, you know, it's the same thing. Instead of asking that one, you just say, create an epic design featuring an enormous crimson and it added so much. So use crimson, purple, and orange as the main colors. You see, so it uh, that's a good uh, tool. You know, that's like okay, it has given you such a chance. So then you can click generate, and it comes with this. So it comes like this. Obviously, I don't have the second screen, which I'll show you in the live one. But then, if you if you, if you remember, you could also the second good feature about other than the generative message that it tells you, like, hey, you know, ask me questions this way, uh, so that I learn better. Because you don't know, uh, nobody tells you uh, what's you know. That's why I don't like, you know, even though I started AI prompt engineering, uh, you can't go for generic prompts and then say, this is going to be the coolest thing applicable to everything. No, it won't. Because every tool likes to, yes, it's understand text, but you need to understand the style of different tools. So it takes time. The more you experiment with different tools, you're going to fall into a good pattern. So in this case, it, it tells you uh, what you can do to benefit more. And as you can see here, it also says, okay, fine. Now, do you want to add any images? Okay, and then you could click. In this case, I added our logo um, and then with the same image on the top. So what has happened is it's pretty much, it's removed the other ones, but it has added the text um, and uh, it has given some samples. And obviously if I customize it further and further, it might be able to do more. But what I also then did is I then went on, this is where it gets cool, right? So it still remembers this, but if I go and again, if I add uh, that image is still there, as you can see here, but then I clicked again, generate image here. Uh, and I added another one, which means I want you to, to go for crisp monochromatic composition of interlocking geometric shapes and patterns, depicting scientific elements of healthcare and medicine, just so that, I just want to say, okay, fine, let me get to, uh, and I'm working for a healthcare medicine company, and I just want to have a good cover 
uh, what am I going to do? And I, I just want to in include my branding as well. So what happens? As you can see here, it kind of nicely blends it. Obviously, you just need to work a couple of times and, and it comes. So it, it has added the logo. It has added that uh, image. This is the image that it got. And then it came out with one big cover. So what happens here is you can actually go and uh, create two, three, four generative images and you can combine all three, four together in one, which is quite interesting, right? So, and then you can go back and obviously as it stays here is you can customize the design, you could download the image, you can explore more prompts, you could resize it, et cetera. Those, those are the things that we are gonna look in the live demo, but for now, just the basic one, right? So now, uh, you know, if you click instead of, because I went with a prompt immediately, right? Um, so that's why I've, I've get into this. But if you look carefully, there is always the bottom that says, hey, skip and start with a blank design. So I don't know what I want, but let me look into some of the templates that's already there and let's go from there. So I just uh, have a look. And then what happens is it immediately asks me this, just like, okay, what is it you want me to create? Is it for social media or is it for something else? And you could specify the design and you're gonna go from there, right? So let us go stop the share and uh, we, we can go back and have a look at the actual tool itself, right? So it might be, beneficial for us. So let's go. So what we are going to look now is this is a blank template. So I've just went back and uh, it just tells me, okay, you want to use a blank template. See, uh, the plus and minus of this is if you look at other tools, they normally give you different templates, right? So designs.ai or, or Canva or Adobe Firefly tells you, hey, uh, are you looking for either? It's 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 given based on the the template formats, or it's given based on any social media or related stuff that you want to go for. But in this case, you just need to work yourself. So what happens here is okay. It tells me these are some of the important days: International Literacy Day, Grandparents Day, some of the important days coming up, and you can decide banner accordingly, or you can go back simply and then find out all templates. So if I want to go back and search templates, let me go back and search any proposal related templates. So <laughs> obviously this is where we need to be very careful. While you might say you work on the proposal industry, the world thinks something else. <laughs> so I know nobody has ever went on to firm what we are, what who we are, what we do, but this is it. So in this case, this is not the right one. Let's say software and let's see whether it tells anything. Okay, fine. It, it gives you few interesting information. So again, just play with it. Oh, I know this is not friendly. It should have given some drop down, et cetera. But again, um, don't just to take things, um, you know, just search a few times and have a go and you can work with it. So let's just pick something random here, okay? Let's pick, okay, women in tech sounds good. So we are gonna add women in tech here. So primarily, the template gets added here. So you can now change anything. So this is how friendly it is, right? So if you're, if you're looking at Adobe Firefly and stuff, it's, it's different, right? So look here. You have this person's image. So just because I've clicked this image, it has given me few more ideas about presenting the person, right? The image very strong, very solid, right? Or you, it, it also gives you few more options. You can click new designs, uh, new ideas, and it gives you a lot more. But in this case, I don't want that. I'm gonna get back to, oh, oh no, sorry. Oops. <laughs> I, I just clicked the uh, browser back, so it went out completely, so something completely out. So we want this, um, I'm glad it's uh, it still picked up the right one. And you, you could see sometimes you might go back and you might change your thing, so you can have this and you could have few options here, right? So number one, you could replace. So you could go back and replace this image with something else, right? As you can see here, gradually, because it doesn't tell you what's in it, right? 
in the past you might have familiar with okay it has photos it has image videos and uh, this industry that industry etc so we are going to look into what we can do so let's uh, let's not take too far and let's just keep um uh, oh let me see some human proper human and we just go from uh, okay let's just pick this image right so either way you know you have women in tech so we have picked up this image then you can you can go back and say okay remove background boom background is removed restore if you want to restore effects you can this is where it gets very interesting if you, if you are into instagram filters and stuff which i'm not then you can start to play with it so obviously you can increase the temperature you can play with anything so now it's slightly more sunny um, and reduce the saturation, make it slightly rich, improve the contracts. You know, the more darker it becomes very really rich, you reduce the brightness, so not too bright, uh, too wide, as you can see here somewhere. Yeah, something like that. So it's it or simply click auto adjust. So it automatically picks up. See, very, very nice. It automatically picks it up. So nice colors comes in. So or you can use different filters here. So very easy, you can choose images, you can change the text to different fonts, which you'll come back to and you can go. So let me click, uh, obviously it's it's an, uh, it's an AI thing. I'm gonna say, inspire me and let's see what it does. So again, the background, yes, nice. Our, uh, Obviously, you have people here, remove background, we already saw, and you can just work with them. Let's, all these are your options. Similar to what we find in Adobe Express, but you know what, slightly more handy, slightly more helpful. So now you can also position this differently. So you can say bring forward, for example. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's already forward, so there's nothing much you can do or you could move it behind to dash background. So either way, play with it, play with it. And you're gonna find a lot more that you can do. As you can see here, very, very smart, right? Very, very smart tool. So this is the basics. So now if you get back to women in tech, which is, uh, which is uh, obviously the text, you can go back and search it differently. So let me click inspire me which now I'm not really inspired, sorry. <laughs> so, um, so always, as you know, sans serif fonts, please do stick with it. So if you are doing any more, you, it, it might be great for you, uh, but your persons who are reading it you know, might, might be lost. So if you do have a brand, this is where it gets interesting. Remember in many tools, brand kit, you need to pay more. In this case, it's free. So you could just use your brand. You could simply add your text in, which is great. You could add your logo if you want, as you can see here, my media. So I'm adding my, which I'm already having it. So you can just go uh, add a logo somewhere. And I can click and say remove background. So obviously it's messed up. So you go restore original. Obviously, this is not a PNG image. This is just a normal image. So when you add a PNG image, it will blend in nicely. So let, you know, so you could add your branding. Um, let's click. Uh, reduce. I don't know. Let's just let's just keep it simple. Okay, so light. Go for extra light. So anyway, so blur background which is there. So primarily you have something here for you. You could add your logo uh, somewhere and uh, you could just add any other stuff in between. You can go, go from there. So that's your text. You can play with your text, choose different formats and or you could search for your own fonts. You can do here. A brand kit is a very, very interesting one. Obviously, if you click here, you can actually create, create your stunning visuals for your brand with AI powered suggestions. So what that meant is 
it actually suggests you what are the different brands that you could use. Just simply start with suggestions for your brand colors. If you know your brand colors, then you could just simply add. So let's say blue. Uh, then it just tells me different blue patterns. So you can just pick up whatever the blue that's there. And I just say, it's okay, fine. Um, or you could change anything and then say, okay, that's my pattern. So now I'm going to use this next concerns, next preview brand kit. Totally messed up as you can see here. <laughs> but you just decide what's the brand kit, but you can clearly see how simple it is to take a generic template, add your own font, and put your own branding guidelines. Voila. You know, less than five minutes, you have something sorted and you can change this and you can make it even better. So this is like, you know, behind the scenes, uh, if you want to go and do it. Again, template wise, as I mentioned already there, you have to go and search these templates, right? This is one. But if you are, let's go back and then say, okay, I'm going to use the generate to AI based thing. So in this case, remember the Crimson Dragon stuff that we talked about? So let me stop the share and I will share the screen again because sometimes Zoom doesn't like if I change screen. So um, in this case, I've actually added a generative AI script instead of creating a template. I've asked it so that the images are not from the shelf. It just creates something really random. As you can see here, um, it tells you about, you know, it's, it's scientific. And it also gives you some interesting things. So you can go back and click this and you can start to change and do the same things here, right? You can position that differently. You could set it as a background like this, uh, revert it back so that it comes back, detach background. You can just remove background. You can just keep playing, playing, play, right? So it becomes very, 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 very powerful. So then, um, you know, primarily what happens here is, you know, it's it's more or less the same on this side. But what, what defines this one is your generative AI thing. So you could still go back and see what you need to do. You can rename, you could duplicate, or you could go back and change your total script. So in this case, you know, we have already done what we are going to do. And let's see if we can download it. It says, okay, download and what you can do, use AI for captions and hashtags. So let's just download this. As you can see here, it also tells you, you can copy as a, as a message, subscribe, subscribe for more dips. Okay, subscribe, let's just go. Because I normally subscribe to anything and everything, uh, mainly because you know what, if there is one little thing that you can learn from different people, because in this case, see how smart it is, right? Because it already knows um, your email ID, you know? So it just, this comes with this download complete. So it just there somewhere downloaded and you could go from there. So the other one, you know, copy invite, having fun with designers, invite copy. So you could invite anybody else to do it. So very, very simple tool for me. I find it... Um, the only thing I would say that is DALI, um, you know, it's not an effective, um, you know, when you go for a very, very personalized, uh, let's go back and create so you know what I'm talking about. So if you go back and create something very, very particular, so uh, let's, um, Okay, let's, uh, okay, now I, I, I use Claude these days mainly because it's uh, it's bright. <laughs> I don't know whether you use uh, Claude enough, but I'm getting used to Claude as much as I use uh, ChatGPT. Um, but ChatGPT in the phone is amazing. You know, we, uh, it's very good. So don't try all these bigger text in, uh, um, in, um, in all these AI tools, let's see what it does. But you could you could just take the first two lines and and you could start to go from there. So when you when you go for the generative AI thing, 
in this case, I just asked, okay, uh, Claude to just say, I want to have a red Indian image. Um, can you write a thing? Obviously, if I add this uh, information uh, in, um, um, in, uh, in, in mid journey, any person related image, I would strongly suggest uh, you go with uh, you go with mid journey. Let's simplify it because it's it's too big. I know. Um, so uh, let's just let's just see what it what it does. So you just go with the prompt here. Um, what what we did early on is blank design, and you pick up a template and you go. Or we just went with a crimson red dragon, and it also gives you the answer. Um, it also has recent design. So if you have anything done previously, you can start to go with that. But here we go. Um, it it has taken the script from there and it tells you what you have done. So primarily, um, I don't think anything looks like Red Indian. Maybe this looks similar, uh, but it doesn't look, uh, it's all mostly looks like African thing. But as you can see here, this is going to be the challenge for you. While Adobe Designer is, is very, very good, um, it's a, sorry, uh, um, Microsoft Design is very simple start to use it. When you're relying on very prompt images, then this is where you're going to get. So let's just click this um, image and we customize the design that you want to go from there. Right. So you could add your image and you could start to go. This is the font that it automatically chosen it for you, but you could add uh, any um, any nice message or, uh, and you could just simplify it. Right. It's good. This is a long message. So it looks like it has a limitation of 400 characters. So let us, uh, um, let's keep it simple. Uh, Okay. So I have just asked whether you, your kindness, creativity, curiosity, also special gifts to the world, the way you spread joy and see the good in others. Does it, as you can see here, this is where stuff started to happen, right? You add this image and see how cool it is. Okay. It looks solid. Imagine you have this sort of things at the back of your cover. How powerful could be like this? I mean, huh? I mean, like it's um, don't underestimate, and again, don't just be constrained about what you know in proposals, which is what we already covered. Like, oh, I need to create infographics, I need to create X, Y, Z, etc. It's it's images like that. It's always people and places, right? It's images like this, and um, images. So when they say something, really needs to touch. Um, you know what? What's the purpose of what you're doing? So again, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing complicated here in Microsoft Designer. You have two options: generative AI, you go through it and edit, upload, add more logos, and play with it, and and then see what it does. Or you pick the template and you just go back and tweak the visuals and texts and other things. Most importantly, if you can also able to customize the branding that suits your company needs. Uh, which in uh, in um, in Canva or Design Start AI, et cetera, you need to pay. Uh, but uh, the one caveat, as it's, as I tell you, is DALI. So don't try to use it for uh, for creating an organization chart or anything like that. Which for that one, uh, the best part is Canva or uh, you know, Engage and, and other uh, process flow diagram tools. But this is in uh, this is a designer. I wasn't even aware that. Um, I thought, uh, you know, DALI, -E, you can go back to DALI, -E, but the uh, designer, Microsoft tools, you can still go back and uh, you can just play with it. So when you download it, it becomes fairly straightforward. Um, download and it just comes in. So it's already downloaded it and you can clearly see, let's see, see, this is it. So it doesn't say anything about AI generated or anything with like what Adobe Firefox, Firefly does it, but it's good. So this week, I just want to play with designs.ai and uh, Microsoft Designer. 
um, see, uh, look and feel for it, what you like, what you don't like, etc. But now there is a couple more tools in your box that you can pick and choose for your needs. That's it. At some point, you know what, I, I'm not going to compare and contrast and say, what's that one tool that you can rely on? That's going to be based on your own personality and your own needs. For me, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, have a, I have an okay sense of aesthetic and at the same time, um, I'm not bogged down by specificity on what it is because asymmetry is good, you know. So um, it's, um, again, what if I sit in the designer, him or her might, might tell you, oh, I'm going to do all these things in InDesign and Coral Draw and other tools. Yes, it's all great. Um, you know, we, we can also, at the very end, uh, we can also look into those things. But you know what? Those are boring. You, you're going to copy paste your answers into a template anyway, question by question. And then you're going to add a cover. So now it just comes from there. You're going to add page numbers and you're just going to print a page. You know, there is nothing more than what it is. So if you individually, as you always do, create some interesting graphics, add it to the question, then you're simply consolidating that into a booklet. That's what it does. Right. So uh, uh, if at the very end we have time, we are, we are going to look into that. But for me, I, I just don't want to do uh, the basics. Design principles of code. Um, so you understood that. Then we moved on to talk about accessibility and other elements. Then we looked a deep dive on infographics. That's where we talked about a lot of charts and other elements. And from then on, we are looking at a few tools. So again, it gives you much more rounded perspective what we need to do. Because the other reason is um, I, 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 the Adobe Creative Cloud and stuff, it's not cheap. Um, so and I and I'm focused more on low cost tools like ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, and free tools for you to begin the, to build you the confidence that you can design um, rather than to go and jump into uh, like a full suit of Adobe uh, suit of products. But at the very end, um, we can also touch. Okay, now I've got what I've got. You can add some of the questions and how quickly can you make those things in there as well. So that's it. So play with the designs.ai and also play with uh, um, uh, Microsoft Designer. If you, you, you do need to have Microsoft login and enjoy. You know, I will catch up with you um, next session. But curiosity is the most important thing. Please do go and uh, test yourself out and uh, let me know. Take care. See you next time.